This video capsule was created for parents whose children are currently enrolled in the LBP Academy and therefore spending this school year learning online. We're currently well into the school year and you might feel like things are starting to settle into somewhat of a normal routine. You might, however, think that certain aspects aren't quite working out and are making you feel overwhelmed, or you might simply be looking for more adequate alternatives to make everything run more smoothly. We made this video to help you navigate this reality and find solutions to make this school year more manageable for your child and for the rest of the family. This video will be split into four main sections. How to create a space that is optimal for learning, how to manage the many challenges of learning online, how to handle schedules and create routines that suit the whole family, and finally, how to best support your child's learning so they can get the most out of the school year and avoid setback. So let's begin. Creating a space isn't just about physical layout or technological devices. It's about cultivating an atmosphere that promotes a desire to learn. Learning can take place in many places in your home. Wherever this place may be, it is still important to have a quiet, comfortable place that is dedicated to your child's learning. This will help them stay focused, organized, and inspired. Create this space with your child and consider these following questions. Is there a desk, kitchen table, or other work surface at a comfortable height for your child? Is there a chair that's also at a comfortable height? Perhaps a balanced exercise ball might be more adequate. Are there windows and sufficient lighting? Is it easy to access the computer or tablet or other technological devices? Does your child have headphones to help them stay focused during synchronous teaching times and avoid getting distracted by ambient noise? Is there space for other supplies like paper and pencils, as well as other materials such as math manipulatives? Is the space welcoming and inspiring? Is this space quiet with few distractions? It might be beneficial to remove clutter and other items you know might interfere with your child's learning. Let's now move on to part two, 